So I was interrupted before I finished my last video. And I need to make a point here. And now it looks like I don't even care. Now, I said some things in the last video that made a lot of sense. If you are displaced and you don't know your way, you're going to do everything you can to survive. And that's what you're supposed to do. That's the American way. I don't want these people to be polarized. I don't want to be used as an excuse. But the reality is this. If you take 3 million or 2 million people from any place, you're going to get some of the bad people with the good. Like any ship sinking, the rats jump off first. Um, there's a lot of good people going to be coming to our country that really need our help. And a lot of people won't see them or recognize them or even give two shits about them. I'm not going to pull any punches. There's going to be Americans thinking that there's people taking their jobs. There's going to be Americans thinking that people taking their benefits. There's going to be Americans thinking that things that we don't have, they're just going to give to these people. I don't know what the situation is. I don't know how it works. But that's not me. I know one thing. Yeah, they do. There's going to be a lot of good people coming here. There's going to be a lot of bad with the good. You can't believe that it's all good. Everything will be all good. You can't. It's illogical for that many people to come here and no bad seeds come with them. Well, we as a people need to understand that everybody needs a chance. Everybody needs a second chance. Everybody needs an opportunity to start over. Not just the people from Haiti. It's from the people living in the streets of America. I'm not trying to be crucial like Michael Savage or anything like that. What I'm trying to say is this. There's a lot of good people going to be misconstrued. There's going to be a lot of resent amongst the people because of the perception. And what I'm saying in the videos, this series of videos, I was trying to prove a point. Not everybody's good. There's going to be people coming here that's going to be judged solely because they're immigrants. Solely because our, their skin is darker than ours. Solely because there's an undertow amongst the poor. Oh, we're poor, hungry, and helpless, and how can they bring these people here and give them health care and stuff that we need? It's different. I guess, I don't know. I don't know what these people would be promised to offer. I know if I was a stranger from a distant land and I was promised this and promised that and then they get treated like they was those people in Katrina, you're gonna bring them all the way to America, hook them up for seven months and then say, you need to go get a job? That's not the right thing to do with three million people or two million people or one million people. These people will be polarized by poor people in America for the perception based on what the rumors are in the streets. They're going to get housing and welfare and education. And then there's people in America like, don't we need housing, welfare, and education? And we can't afford it. We can't afford that. We can't afford this. We can't afford that. We can't afford this. We can't afford that. Give these people an opportunity to show their worth. If there's no jobs for us, there ain't going to be no jobs for them. So don't be looking at somebody from Haiti talking about they taking your job. You know, it's going to be crazy. I shouldn't hate that. Mm -mm. Heartburn City. But these people are no different than you. I mean, let's not judge these people on what we're going to see. Like any situation with any country or any government, once these people become part of our society or into our system, so to speak, 
you're going to be seeing some negative things on the news. It's a form of reassurance to those in control that, look, these people are not a good people. There'll be a stigma placed on them. There's always going to be an undertow amongst the poor people based on these people. We need to take the lesson of Katrina. I was telling somebody earlier, Katrina was a test for Haiti. And um, take the lesson for Katrina. You cannot just misplace a uh, bunch of people and um, just say, boom, here you are. Hey, there you go. Pay their rent and help them out. And then all of a sudden say, find a job and leave. You can't do that. You can't take one group of people from another country and do the same shit they did in Katrina. I'm sorry. You can't help people like that. Um, there's this athlete who said he ain't going to help nobody from Haiti. Um, I often said if I was the President of the United States of the world, uh, the United States of America, that the only foreign aid I would give is to foreign people here in America. I understand the need to help people in time of crisis and time of need. But for what means and for what? You know, it's like, you know, what I get. And as an American citizen, and to be honest with you, I wonder what we get. I know you get to help people, but there's people that I see right in my community need help. I feel sorry for some of these people who are going to end up here in America because I see a group of Americans using these people as an excuse. Um, it's sad that, you know, helping people will polarize them to a point. I truly believe that if we really want to help these people, we can help them by doing our best to make it safer for them while they're here. And what I mean by safer for them is because, like I said, it's going to be a lot of people pointing and having excuses for them not having their own. And these people shouldn't be looked at like that. But that's all I see. I'm just speaking from my mind. I don't think anybody's going to have intentions of being a bad person when they come here. But, like I said, when it goes down, the bad get going quick. So let's not judge these people by the handful of people that will cut up or act up. Because, like I said, it will be a handful. But the coverage will be so It'll be like watching District 9. I'm telling you, these people need to get more respect than that. So, I think we should all learn a lesson from every catastrophe. When you displace people, things do change. People get polarized disrespected, excluded. Uh, what's the other word I want to use? Hmm. Switch on this one. Oh. What's the other word I want to use? They also get stereotyped. Let's not stereotype these people either. Let's not hope that they become a stereotype. We as African Americans already have enough stereotypes about us going around already. Thank you for your time. And for those out there, I am not paranoid. That one's for you.